So this lesson is about adding, finding sort of the sum of an infinite geometric series. And here's the formula. And like that, that's what's frustrating for kids about math is, okay, you know, here's the formula. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Now go on and do 400 problems like this. And it's totally still confusing. Formulas are not, you know, even having a cheat sheet in math is not the answer because it's still hard to use a formula. First of all, what is geometric series anyways? If we're going to find the sum of an infinite geometric series, what is geometric series? Remember, that's something that is being multiplied by the same value every time. So it could be something like 4, 2, 1, 1 half, etc. And I'm looking at this, and I can tell it's geometric because I'm, I'm basically multiplying by the same number every time. And sometimes finding that number is really hard, but sometimes it's kind of easy. This one, it looks like I'm basically multiplying by a half to get everyone and and that's right I can tell by looking at it so a to the one and R what are those a to the one is the easiest guy because that's just the first term so in this case a to the one is four and in the in R it's a little bit weirder it's what you're multiplying by every time so again in this case I'll show you problems where this is not this easy but in this case um, R is definitely a half and so it looks like we can kind of find the sum we're done we have a to the one we have R so we should be able to solve this one thing I have to warn you about ahead of time, like there's a big sort of like alarm bell <coughs> with these problems. And there's a there's a rule about R. So R has a very like, put an asterisk by it. It's got a serious rule. If R is a certain value, you can find the sum. And if R is not a certain value, you cannot find the sum. So what is that rule? R has to be between negative one and one. And even this little notation is confusing, so it's better to hear it verbally. R has to be between negative one and one. And if it is, then yes, you can go ahead and find the sum of that infinite geometric series. In this case, our R is a half. A half is less than one, and a half is bigger than negative one. So we're cool. This is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead with you, and we're gonna find the sum of this. And then after, I'll show you a few examples when R was not, so it's, it's not gonna work. So, Completing sort of sort of solving this problem now. Let's go ahead and, and do it. So we have the sum is equal to a to the one, which we agreed was four, over one minus r, which is one half. And this is cool. I'm going to show you a little fraction trick, all right, that I invented uh, during the war. It's pretty amazing, actually. Okay, so I was never in a war. Just disclaimer. All right. So what you have is you have uh, something divided by this. The first thing you got to do is we have to subtract these and we can't. We don't have a common denominator, so let's make one. Looks like to me the common denominator would probably be two, so times two to the bottom, whatever you do to the bottom, if you do to the top. So then on the bottom we have two over four, excuse me, two over two minus one over two, which is one over two. So this is four over one half. Okay, so now here's my trick. Here's my fancy trick. Whenever you divide a number by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying that number by the reciprocal of the fraction. So a number, again, divided by a fraction is that number times the reciprocal, right? And so this just comes out to eight over one, which is just eight. And so that, this here is my sum of my infinite geometric series that I had here. And so it's pretty easy if R qualifies, if the common ratio R qualifies, Finding the sum is not that hard. A to the one over one minus R, do this fancy fraction trick, divide by the reciprocal, or excuse me, multiply that by the reciprocal, and you're done. So again, the, I think what's weirder than solving it is deciding in the first place if R even works, right? So let's do a few. Again, here's my rule. I'll just kind of write it up here so you can refer to your rule. R has to be between negative one and one. And so let's say you had, here's a series like this, two, four, eight, 16 dot 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 what is your r and again if you here's the here's the kind of the nerdy way to do it obviously your r is times two times two times two let's pretend like you couldn't tell by looking at it you would say two times i'm not sure x the variable equals four and then solve divide by two divide by two x equals two and you'll see it works here too four times who knows equals eight Divide by four, divide by four, x equals two. And that'll come out the same every time. So in this one, r is equal to two. Does this qualify? Is it between one and negative one? No, it's totally too big. It's above one. So there is no sum for this geometric, infinite geometric series. There's simply no sum. It can't be solved. But here's another one. 
What if I had something like one, two thirds, four ninths, dot, dot, dot. Okay, this is, looks terrible. Everybody hates fractions. Don't lie. You probably hate fractions too. So you would say, basically you would say, one times I have no idea equals the next guy, two thirds divided by one, divided by one. It looks like X is two thirds, which is our R value. And let's test it. Let's take the next guy. Two thirds times, I have no idea, is four over nine. Here, you're basically, if you remember your algebra, you're gonna multiply by the reciprocal times three over two to get this gone. X equals, that's three, that's two, two thirds. If that math scared you, who cares? The main point of this lesson is, what am I multiplying by every time? And this X value, which is my R up here, is that between negative one and one? Yes, two thirds is less than one. This totally has a sum and you would plug it into that formula. So again, first find R here and make sure it qualifies. Is it between negative one and one? Once you have it, then that's cool. A to the one is really easy and you do the math and everybody's happy and you're a big, big success with all your friends and family and you're welcome. So that's it, that's how you do those and hopefully you enjoyed the video.